Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on change of order of integration part 3. In the part 1 and part 2 videos, we solve change of order of integration problem for a triangle. Those who don't watch those videos, go to the playlist, watch this two problems. And today's session, we are going to deal with a very different problem. In both the previous session, we are dealing with a triangle. Here also, we are going to deal with a triangle, but this problem is quite different. You can guess at the time of step 4 in the diagram. Let us go into the problem. Change the order of integration for the given problem and then evaluate it. So first we have to check the inner integral. We have dx and my limits are y. So the given question is in the correct order. So our step 1 is going to be capital I is equal to integral 0 to 1 and integral y to 2 minus y xy dx dy. Now step 2. Since the order is correct, I am taking it as capital I. Step 2, as usual, I have to write the equations. So, in the outer integral, the limits are 0 to 1. This is for y. So, I am writing y equal to 0, y equal to 1. Always better write the constant first. Then, we go for the inner integral. We have y, that is my x equal to y and then x equal to 2 minus y. This is okay, but we have to write in the simplified way. So, I can write this as x plus y equal to 2. This is more tall. So, once we found this equation, we know how to draw this y equal to 0 and y equal to 1. But we don't know what is this two equation. So, better what we do? We take the known data and then substitute this in the unknown equation. We can get the point and we can correct the problem. First, I am taking y equal to x. Therefore, my known values are y equal to 0 y equal to 1. Similarly here, y equal to 0 and 1. Now substitute this value in the equation y equal to x. We will be getting x equal to 0. When you substitute y, you will be getting x equal to 1. Therefore, the line y equal to x passes through 0, 0, 1, 1. Next, similarly, substitute y equal to 0 here. We are going to get x equal to 2 and when I put y equal to 1, I am going to get x equal to 1. Therefore, my points are 2 comma 0 and 1 comma 1. So this straight line passes through this two points and the second straight line passes through 2 comma 0 and 1 comma 1. Now step 3. The given order in the problem is dx dy. That means x is the variable. We are going to use horizontal strip in the question. When I want to change the order, I am going to use the vertical strip. In horizontal strip, we move left to right. In the vertical strip, we move bottom to top. So, the given order is dx dy. The change of order is obviously dy dx. So, next step is to draw the diagram. Step 4. As I said, use at least two different colors to identify the region in a proper way. This is my axis. Now, we have two constants y equal to 0 and y equal to 1. Let us draw y equal to 0 and y equal to 1. Now, for the line x equal to y, we have two points 0, 0, 1, 1. So, this is my 0, 0 and 1, 1 somewhere here because this straight line is 1. And then, once you fix the point, draw the straight line and this line is going to be my x equal to y. Next, x plus y equal to 2. We have similarly the two points 2, 0, 1, 1. 1, 1 is already used in the previous equation. Now, we have to fix the other point 2, 0. So, you can see the distance is 1 somewhere. Then 2 roughly I can take here 2, 0. Now, I have to draw the straight line and this equation is going to be x plus y equal to 2 guys. Done. Now, you see all the regions are open because black line is my assumption. All the regions are open. This triangle is going to be the closed region. So, this is what the region I have to find for my problem. Now, since the given order is dx dy, x is going to be the variable. So, we have to mark initially the horizontal strip and we are going to convert the problem by changing the order. So, I am going to draw a y strip making y as variable and x as constant. Now, this problem has some issues. If this is not like my single triangle. See here, suppose I am trying to move the horizontal strip. When I move the horizontal strip, always what I get? Both the sides should have the same equation. Suppose I am moving here or here or here. This is covering the same equation. 
it moves from x equal to y to x plus y equal to 2. Now we have to change the order. That means I have to draw the vertical strip. For this concern, suppose there comes a question, where should I draw the strip? So I can draw the strip here, 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 anywhere. But wherever I draw the strip, it should have to cover two lines, one at the bottom and one at the top. Let us see here. When I put a strip here, y equal to 0 to y equal to x. This is my region covering. Another strip, the same, the same, same. Now, if I put a strip here, what is the problem, guys? This is not the same. Now, this is moving from y equal to 0 to x plus y equal to 2. See here, that's why I gave it a different color. That means the strip is showing two different curves. Here from y equal to 0 to y equal to x. Here from y equal to 0 to x plus y equal to 2. So, there is an issue. I cannot take this as a single region. Where it is changing? From this x equal to y line, still this, the strip is orange. 1. After drawing the second line, the strip is changing with a different thing. So, I will draw a line and I mark this as 1, 0. Now, you see, this is going to be one region. Wherever you draw the strip, you will be getting same equation, y equal to 0 to x. Similarly, in the other side, you can see from this line, if I draw any strips, it moves from y equal to 0 to x plus y equal to 2. That means this problem is a double region problem. I am going to find the integral for the region 1 and I am going to find the integral for the region 2. Hope you understand. So, I am splitting this problem as region 1 and region 2. Hope you got guys. Now my step 4 gets over. This is my diagram. Now to find the new limits, I have to consider region 1 separately and region 2 separately. To find the limit for the region 1, you should be very careful. You have to neglect the region 2, otherwise you do some errors. So now I am just hiding the region 2 and I am taking only the region 1. As I said, we are doing the vertical strip. So y limit is going to be variable. y moves from bottom to top. So my y limit is 0 to y equal to x. And see in the first region, the minimum value of x is 0 and the maximum value of x is 1. Therefore, my x limit is 0 to 1. Done. Now you can see the typed version y equal to 0 to x, then x equal to 0 to 1. In the similar way, I have to find the limits for the region R2 or the second region. The same thing, when you find the limits for the second region, hide the first region because it will help you to get the correct content. See the second region, my strip is a vertical strip. Therefore, the lower line in the bottom is y equal to 0 and the upper line is x plus y equal to 2. I am writing this as y equal to 2 minus x. So, my y limit is 0 to y equal to 2 minus x. So, in this case, x is constant. See the minimum value of x. You should not write 0 because this is region 2. In region 2, the minimum value of x is 1 and it reached maximum up to 2. Therefore, my x value is 1 to x equal to 2. Hope you understand, student. Now, this is the limit for the two region. The next step after finding the limits, we are going to find the region R1, R2 by integrating it. Since the given order is dx, dy, the change of order is going to be dy, dx. Now we have two regions that is R1 and R2. For this two region, we are going to do two different integration. So let us take capital I as I1 plus I2. I1 is the integral corresponding to the region R1 and I2 is the integral corresponding to the region R2. So now we know my I1. My limits are going to be 0 to 1. This is constant and Y limit is 0 to X. Similarly, for the second region, my Y limit is 0 to 2 minus X and X limit is and X limit is from 1 to 2. We are going to evaluate 1 by 1. First, let us evaluate I1 and then we can go for I2 and add it will get the final solution. Let us integrate I1 first. So now, integral 0 to 1. Whenever I integrate with respect to y, x is constant. So y square by 2, integral 0 to x, dx. Integral 0 to 1, 
when I substitute the upper and lower limit, will we get x into x square by 2 dx? I will take this 1 by 2 outside integral 0 to 1 x cube dx. Integrating this, we will be getting 1 by 2 x power 4 by 4 0 to 1. When I substitute the limit, I will be getting 1 by 2 into 1 by 4. That is my 1 by 8. So, I1 is going to be simply 1 by 8. You can see the typed version. Next, we are going to find I2. In the same way, we are going to integrate this. The limits are going to change here. So, first I am going to integrate with respect to Y. Integral 1 to 2 X into Y square by 2. Integral 0 to 2 minus X DX. I will take this 2 outside. So, 1 by 2 into integral 1 to 2 X into 2 minus minus x whole square dx. Next expanding 2 minus x whole square will be getting 4 plus x square minus 4x and then now multiplying x inside we will be getting 4x plus x cube minus 4 x square dx. Integrating this we will be getting 1 by 2 4 x square by 2 plus x power 4 by 4 minus 4 x cube by 3. The limit is 1 to now we have to substitute the upper and lower limit. It is very important student do not get too much of simplification. Just substitute the upper limit 2 and then the lower limit. Now simplifying this we will be getting 1 by 2, 2 square 4. So 16 by 2 plus 16 by 4 minus 8 into 4 that is 32 by 3. Here 4 by 2 plus 1 by 4 minus 4 by 3. So either you can use calculator or you can simplify something and you can go for calculator. See here, I can simplify this. See, 16 by 2, 4 by 2. They are common. 16 by 4, 1 by 4. Minus 32 by 3, 4 by 3. I can assemble this. And then I can write like 1 by 2, 12 by 2, plus 15 by 4, minus 28 by 3. So either you can take LCM and you can write the answer. Or the simplest way, you take the calculator. So 1 by 2, you can feed like this. Before feeding into the calculator, write in your hand in the rough sheet. So 1 by 2, the big bracket is for this. 6, 12 by 2 is 6, plus if you don't know, just write 15 by 4 minus 28 divided by 3. Now, when you press equal to, it will be giving, for example, like this, a decimal value. Below the shift button, you can see the button A, B, C. This is mixed fraction. So, when you press shift plus this button, you can see the display of this decimal as a fraction. It will show like 5, 24. The meaning is 5 by 24. Therefore, the solution is going to be 5 by 24 for I2. Or if you don't like that, you can do like this. 2, 4, 3 is there. I can make everything in terms of 12 and I can take LCM. Both are same. Whatever the method you like, you can do students. Now, taking I1, I2, I am going to find I. I is equal to I1 plus I2. 1 by 8 plus 5 by 24. Now, again, multiply and divide by 3. We will be getting 3 by 24 plus 5 by 24. When I take LCM, it is going to be 8 by 24, that is 1 by 3. Therefore, my solution is going to be 1 divided by 3. Now, as usual, quick recap, guys. So, those who want to uh, write the problem in your note or you want to have a fast look, just see this recap. Step 1, write the correct order. If it is already correct, write as it is. Step 2, write the equations for the unknowns, find the points and then draw the diagrams. Then it is easy for you to identify the region. Step 3, given order is dx dy. Change the order is dy dx. Step 4, draw the diagram, choose the strip. Since the change of order is dy, y is my variable, I am going to choose the y strip. It moves from bottom to top. Since it has two different regions, I am taking this as region 1 and region 2. Next, you have to find the limits from the problem. After finding the limits, substitute and you will be getting the two regions. For this, we are going to do two integration. I1 plus I2 and find I1, I2 and add it and you will be getting the answer. Hope you understand students. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this video helpful. Stay tuned for more and keep up the great work. Subscribe to our channel and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.